Hey family, it's LaToya and again I'm excited to be with you. I'm going to talk about a subject that I really hope will bring some freedom and some power to somebody today. I'm trusting and believing that actually, okay? Because what I'm getting ready to talk about, I know when you're experiencing it, it can feel frustrating, it can feel heartbreaking, it can feel disappointing, it can feel upsetting, it can feel even more um, lonely and ab abandoning than when you were going through the trauma, okay? So I'm gonna simplify it, right? Gonna make it really simple. Don't expect them to understand because most of the time they won't, okay? So listen, your situation is unique. Your situation is your own. I may have gone through some similar things. There might be some common threads between what we've all experienced, right? There might be some common things that we, we just know, but your situation is, your, is unique. It's yours, your pain, your, your process. Um, your healing, it's completely yours. Now, what makes it yours, okay? Your past, your history, your culture, your experiences, your own personal beliefs and beliefs that were put on you, your personality, your viewpoint and your perspective, the way your body absorbs things, the way your mind processes things, all of those things combined makes it possible that your experience cannot be exactly like mine, right? So how can I 100% fully understand exactly what you're going through right now? It isn't even possible. And when we're healing, when we're growing, when we're expanding, when we are expanding in our preeminence and in our light and in our brilliance, because you are, right? Our people, are not going to always understand, okay? Um, what do I mean by our people? Our family, our friends, our um, intimate acquaintance, acquaintances, whether it's our, our intimate partners or just partners that we work with or, or partners that we, uh, that we hang with, right? Our children, um, our most supportive groups and people, we expect a lot of them. But the truth is, it's unfair because their situations, their capacity for understanding or absorbing or even holding a space for what you're going through just probably isn't there. And even, you know, counselors and coaches where we're kind of built and created to hold that space, the reality is many even still cannot sit with what you're going through. And we can minimize the pain, the frustration, the abandonment, the loneliness when we don't expect it, okay? Because most often the frustration comes from the expectation, right? So the truth is it's, it's really unfair to expect that from themselves. So sometimes they will understand, okay? Sometimes they're actually going to connect. There's going to be that synergy. Sometimes they just want so badly to, but they may not be able to, but the sympathy and the empathy is there. Sometimes they'll even fake like they understand because they care so much and they want to be what you're expecting them to be, even though that space, that, mm, that ability or capability just isn't there. So no matter how close they are to you, free yourself and free them from the expectation because they probably won't understand. Rejoice when they do, okay? Rejoice, because that's cherry on the top. That's icing. That's like, oh, yes, they got it, right? Rejoice when they do, but most likely, they're not going to be exactly there with you. Okay, don't expect them to understand your pain. Your pain is yours. Your healing is yours. Don't expect them to understand your pauses because the breaks that you need for your life, 
is what you need. Listen, I'm telling you, the other day I had to lock myself in the room, in my bedroom for a whole hour, lock myself away from my children, from my husband, from everybody, right? Because I needed that. I needed to reset my mind. I needed to reset myself for my mental health, for my business, for my kids, for my family, for the people that I'm helping and I'm dealing with. I needed that reset. And you know what? I don't expect them to understand because they may not. What's important is I understand that that is what I need. Don't expect them to understand. Don't expect them to, to, to know or to be completely willing to give you that pause because they may not be, but you have to know. Okay. Don't expect them to understand your changes. You're going to have to make some changes. Changes are necessary for your healing process, for your health, for your growth. Changes are necessary. You cannot expect to do business as usual and think that healing and transformation is going to happen. No, you've got to make some changes. You're going to have to do the work and you, and you're going to need to do it regardless of whether they understand or not. And not everybody will understand the changes. In fact, some of them will be like, why do you need to change? Everything's working right now because you know what? If you've settled for something, if you've cowered for something, if you've compromised for something and it's working for them, then they're okay with you not changing. You understand. But you have to know the changes that you need to make and you've got to tap into that power to make them, whether they want them or not, or whether they understand them or expect them or approve of them or not. Don't expect them to understand your needs. Your needs are uniquely and solely yours. Listen, like I tell the people that I work with, you're the only person who wakes up in your mind. You're the only person that goes to sleep in your mind, that dreams with what you dream with, and that wakes up with what you wake up with. It's you. So therefore, don't expect them to understand or necessarily approve of your needs. And they're going to try to tell you, hey, there's a difference between needs and wants. And this is what you're really needing. And this is what you're wanting. No, no, no. You define what you need and want. And sometimes they're the same thing. And I was just taught we don't use the word want because that inherently um, gives the expression of the spirit of lack. Okay. So what you need and what you desire, and they may be the same exact thing, but your heart and your spirit and your experience and your, pers your perspective is going to inform you of what that thing is. And don't expect them to understand or approve. And it takes sometimes a heck of a long time to own what you need and to move in that power. Don't expect them to understand your triumphs. Don't expect them to understand what your victories are. Listen, just last week or a couple of weeks ago, for me, cooking five days in a row was like, whoo, victory. You understand me? <laughs> that was victory for me. And I know there's going to be some people, you know, who, who are judging and criticizing. That's okay. I don't expect them to understand or approve. My victory is my victory. You understand? It was victory for me not too long ago to be able to wash the dishes and not have the triggering effect of my ex voice in my head. I'm so grateful for that. That was victory for me. And some people may not understand that and that's okay. Right? And last, don't expect them to understand your sense of freedom. Freedom is necessary for your happiness and your peace. So listen, um, I remember, you know, when I was, I think 19 and I went out to go get a tattoo, I wasn't out there just getting a tattoo, which no criticism or judgment, but for me, it was an act of freedom because it was the first time I actually realized that I could spend my money without the controlling factor or um, the oppression that I felt in the abuse that I was in. And so that was freedom for me. So the tattoo that I have on my leg represents for me freedom. And I don't expect everybody to understand or approve of that. People have their own morals and ethics and and condemnation going on, 
Okay, that's them. But you have to know what's freedom for you and to take back the reins of your power and walk in your freedom. I'm not telling you that it's easy all the time, but what I'm telling you is give yourself the authority, the permission, the love, and the grace and don't necessarily expect them to understand. That's your freedom. That's your power. As always, I'm sending you much love and power. I love you and I would love to work with you. If you want some more of this power, please sign up for my podcast, sign up for my, um, subscribe for my email so that you can get this motivation, these tools right in your inbox so you don't miss anything. And um, again, I love you. See you next time.